Hi, welcome to my channel. Today I want to share with you a very simple method on how to speak Chinese using everyday objects and pictures. Research has shown that we process information quicker when we connect pictures with this information. Imagine saying the word hamburger. What comes to your mind? Bread, meat patties, sauce, onions, etc. But how do this information come about? It came to us from our memory. For memory, we have stored a picture of the hamburger we once had. So learning to speak a foreign language with pictures, especially food, is one of the quickest way to kickstart your speaking Chinese journey. Hi, my name is Hanifa. I'm a cross-cultural communicator and consultant. I'm also a speaker and a certified trainer. I show people how to speak Chinese as a foreign language speaker so they can communicate and socialize more confidently. I learned to speak Chinese since I was a kid. And since young, I've always been understanding, I've always been watching how my parents, who are uneducated, on how they pick up a foreign language. Imagine a situation in my house. My brother, myself, and my sister, we all took up Chinese as our foreign language, other than English. My mother tongue is Malay. So in my household, my mom and my dad always had to struggle on how to make us understand their point of view in their language. So over time, they also have to pick up what we learn and also to help them to get through life every day. So when I watch my parents, I really understand that you really do not need to get uh, to have a book in front of you or a translator to get started to speak a foreign language. So today I will show you a method that I've been using and also in a daily basis. It is so easy and everybody can use it. Let's get started. So imagine you are going to order food from a restaurant and in a restaurant we usually will see a menu and in the menu probably a picture of the menu. In some very uh, higher restaurant or the dining place, you won't even see a picture of the food that you are going to order. So how do you get started? You look at the name of the menu, in this case, steamed fish. Now, steamed fish, the word steamed is used as a, an adjective and it can also be used as a verb or it can also be used as a noun. So. When you look at the word steamed fish, immediately you know that this fish, the way this fish has been cooked. Now, when you're reading a Chinese word in a restaurant, you will not be able to see the honey pinyin or the transliteration. So how can you learn how to speak this word? Of course, the first thing that you want to know is how to say it. So you can ask the waiter or your friend. So that's how you get started, right? So these are very simple ways in which you can pick up a language quite quickly with your friend in, beside you and also with the waiter. Now the next thing is that when you look at a picture like this, you tend to also want to deconstruct um, what this um, dish look like. You probably want to know, you know, what, how it's done and how whether it's steamed. So a lot of things will go into your mind because this is something you have eaten before or it's something that you are you are familiar with and therefore in your mind you'll start to deconstruct this dish. So here I have deconstructed the dish and I put in some words and these words are there is no category categorization of the language yet whether it is a noun or adverb or whatever but it is how we see things and this is how I see it, with fish, steam, soup, uh, thyme, oven, water. So you can also use other words that come to your head. Uh, like you see in this picture, there's chili, there's tablecloth, there are the eyes, the fins, the tail, right? So the more you start to collect information out of this picture, then the more you are likely will be able to form a list of words that you will be using. So what will be... Well, we, the next thing that you can do is, let me move myself away from here, uh, my picture here. So, okay, if I move myself away from here, now you can see, I say that place these words into, um, or place them, or categorize them rather, noun, adjective, verb, adverb, categories, okay? And then you form a sentence SVO. What's SVO? 
this is what I want to explain to you. Because when we look at a picture or we look at a word, we started to say the words and also immediately we want to form a sentence. And it is human, okay? We are socialized, we are a social being. So when we are excited about something, immediately we want to form a sentence because that sentence will help us convey a message to our friend. So hurrah! So you're already getting started, see? So if you are finding it difficult to form a sentence, that's because you are unable to form that sentence. So that's okay. So today I will show you a very simple method. It's called SVO, subject, verb, object, on how you can use these words and form a Chinese sentence. Let's go. So in the basic sentence, you will see three things, subject, verb, object. And in a subject, of course, you can see in the sentence is I eat banana. She walks to school. He speaks Chinese. Now, as you can see, that each of these sentences consists of three things, subject, a verb, and an object. So when we're looking at translation, Translation is basically you translate word for word. I eat banana. They play football. He speaks Chinese. So there is really no hard, no, no, not very challenging at all because all you need to do is just place those words that we have discussed earlier into the different categories. So here I have, I eat banana, banana eat me, xiang jiao chi wo. So now you can already get started to speak Chinese by using everyday objects and also a picture. Just look at the picture on my screen right now. What do you see? Do you see me? Do you see the curtain behind? And do you see the window? Do you see the tree? So the inner picture, it tells a lot of stories. And you can just get a snapshot of this picture and start putting words around them. And it will register in your mind. The next thing you can do is just to form sentences with these pictures. I can see this. I can see that. I can speak Chinese. So it is not difficult for you to get started. Go ahead. Try something new. Speak Chinese. I'll see you again next time.